the question is about uh, more than scientific or it's scientific but it's more related to a personal view about pi interactions how it started 11 years ago and how it goes now uh, especially in, in the research we are developing but it's pi interactions and so before that I uh, would like to make uh, some kind of uh, homage to what happened uh, on Tuesday. You know that Tuesday, the 12th of June, was the day of the lovers. They are the equivalent of Valentine's, Valentine's Day in the United States. So nothing better to uh, start this talk about another way of uh, recalling pi. So love is like pi. It's natural, absolutely irrational, and very important. <coughs> so after that, uh, uh, we'll start with uh, the main part of our talk. So it's related in some way to supramolecular chemistry. Supramolecular chemistry started not many years ago, 20, 25 years ago, uh, by Len, Jean-Marie Len, and his uh, co-workers. And all the definitions all around that are all that what he has written about that. That is the chemistry of molecular assemblies and of the intermolecular bond. So, we are talking about several molecules, not a molecule, but how these molecules assemble to make new things. And not only to make new things, but also to make to have some special kind of properties. And how can we develop this new kind of assemblies if we don't know how they can get together? That's the main point the intermolecular bond. And this is, uh, before that, the intermolecular bond is uh, some kind of difference because we are going to see that things about molecules are very well known. And these people of synthesis, they know how to break and they have to put together uh, many different kinds of, of atoms. But when we are going to talk about molecules, the kind of interactions are quite different. And the types of intermolecular forces that are different one from what we are used to, it's the common cases are the dative coordinate interactions. So if someone is interested, there is a very pretty brand new review about that. Hydrogen bonds, we are all, all used to hear about hydrogen bonds. They are very important. They are the responsible for all kind uh, of the living things, electrostatic, all these are very common and are not only common but they are very well understood. Even that we don't have a special uh, a model for hydrogen bonds, a universal model for that. Rare, we are the pi pi stacking or the pi bonding neglected that is very few people uh, decided to understand them or to look for them and that's the, the main point they are very frequent and that is the point of our research but very few people uh, try to get them or to pick them from the uh, supramolecular arrangement. And some new emerging types that are from the last few years that were recognized as driving forces to make a uh, crystal. Lone pair pi uh, interactions that we are going to see, including heterocycles. Metal carbonyl, this is pretty brand new, absolutely new. It has 
a couple of months. And of course, there we cannot, we are not going to find in a crystal or in a solid only one of these types. They are normally they are mixed type, but always one is the driving force, the important one. That's the the main point of our research, recognizing which of this is responsible for that. And this is the the beginning. This two. Uh, in uh, the middle of uh, a lot of structures, I am a crystallographer, in the middle of that, those two structures were published, you see, in 1996 and 1997, and it's written, uh, it's written there that the molecules are assembled by Van der Waals interactions. That is written, I've written that together with other, it was the only thing we saw by that time. But a couple of years later, we were together with a friend invited to, a, to an international meeting on tellurium <coughs> uh, compounds. So we decided to talk about tellurium compounds. And what we discovered that we were wrong. In the, this paper had a flaw that were wrong. We found that this compound, there was some kind of tellurium pi interactions, as in this one, and this kind of interactions. So we have some kind of interaction between the tellurium atom and a phenyl ring of a, a neighboring molecule. So there were not Van der Waals interactions. This kind of interactions were responsible, as we you can see here, for this uh, arrangement in the crystal. So this neglected secondary, they were in the neglected secondary bonds. So they were published in 2001. Uh, that is related to the coordination polyhedra and another one, and the other one on self-assembly uh, supramolecular. So this kind of interaction, tellurium pi interaction, was f for the first time described in 2001 in the literature, and it was not very well received, not at all. During there were a lot of people saying that you are absolutely crazy. Uh, even in, during the meeting, someone, when I presented the, the results, uh, someone, one of the big shots, uh, that's wrong. Uh, so to me, and I said, no, 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 professor, that's not wrong. The question is, you don't understand chemistry. <laughs> you know what happened uh, in the middle of that. Uh, I was <coughs> 15 years younger, so I, I could do that. I, I don't know if I would do that. Now, but uh, so what was the, the main point? The main point is when what we were seeing and we couldn't understand. We saw that that was experimental. We saw that experimentally. We, what we saw experimentally is that the lone pair of the tellurium was very close to the pi clouds of the phenyl ring. So in this distance was less than the sum of the Van der Waals radius. So what we, we are seeing is something like that. Two equal charges, negative charged particles or negative charged groups were attracted one to the other. So that was the thing. And we published that saying, well, we saw that, but we don't have a model. Something, and there it was, uh, you can, uh, we could think, well, you looked all around? Yes, we looked all around and we couldn't see any other kind of interaction. So we decided to say that that was the answer. Uh, we didn't have the answer. So it took another year. And after a year of working and thinking on that and trying to understand the thing, we understood what was going on or this kind of interaction. And what we are seeing is that 
in the lone pair, this lone pair here was uh, occupying part of the hole here. There was a lack of uh, electronic density, so this lone pair could go in inside here, and then we ha we had uh, what is called a uh, uh, retro donation of electronic density, and that explained the the whole thing. And then, uh, so in 2002, we published this work explaining that, and then it beca it became uh, a whole bunch of uh, structures on tellurium, uh, and now ban nobody from that time on would publish any s structure without looking if there was tellurium by interaction. And then where people also published some things, some structures where there were not uh, tellurium pi, but they thought there were tellurium pi. So uh, there is a whole kind of uh, interplay uh, in that. So tellurium pi was the starting. 2001 uh, uh, is uh, for us, of course, is the starting point, tellurium pi. But then what we decided, oh, well, if we have tellurium pi, let's look around the world. Huh? We have a, a whole periodic table to look around. So we started to look around that. So chemists look at molecules, covalent interactions. Crystal engineering and supramolecular chemists arrange the molecular in crystals, non-covalent interactions. And that merits all kind of new things. And they are not very well understood. They are understood in some way. We have made, and many other people is doing calculations on that, but it's still a very brand new uh, area uh, of uh, research. And m many people is interested, crystal engineers, and, and not only crystal engineers, the industry is really very much interested in all that because the question is, can we predict a crystal structure ab initio? That is, we have a molecule and we can predict how this molecule will interac they interact with equal molecules to make a crystal. That is uh, the, the big question. And to make all these kind of uh, guesses, we, we have to know which kind of interactions we have to expect or we can expect in this kind of uh, research. Of course, covalent interactions are very well known, and these people uh, know how to break it and to put it together, different ones. Those, till now, we are starting in this uh, program.